Yo. What's up? It's, you know who, Mr. Carcino. Live here and direct. And today we're going to do DJ beef. I already told you before. When I was talking about when Star was addressing uh, academics. And I was telling y'all. I'm like, man, this kind of reminds me a little bit. But no, no, it doesn't. Because that was... That got taken to a, a whole nother level. But you have this DJ Envy guy. You know, and a lot of people know I don't like Envy because when I met him, each time he was an a-hole. You know, he, he was acting very light-skinned, very privileged, as if he was a celebrity. And this is back when he really was just a dj at a radio station like you you're nothing really to the big spectrum of things but that's neither here nor there this is not about me so let me take myself out of it now during this time star from star and buck wow who like i told you from the source magazines we would all go right to the back of the source <laughs> First thing you read is Star and Buck Wow when you get the source. You want to read the columns. Those were the most entertaining columns probably ever written in hip hop history. Period. Hands down. Star and Buck Wow end up going to radio. After they were fired or left the source after the Dave Mays fallout. Now, Miss Jones, and she used to work with Star on the radio station and she started doing her own thing, I guess. And once this happened, this Miss Info lady gets involved, this Asian lady who's on the radio, and <laughs> Star is landing it to them. Now, DJ MV is married to an Asian woman. Maybe that's it was the Asian thing. So for some reason he decided to get involved. And the Miss Jones thing was put on hold. <laughs> Just like, all right, let's let's put her on hold right now. For now we're gonna put her on hold. Let's focus on this situation right here with DJ MV. Is talking like a gangster. And it was shocking. Envy starts talking like the biggest gangster in the world. Talking about he's going to go to the radio station. And he was waiting on Star and all this stuff. Like I was down there. I was waiting for you. DJ Envy was talking like this, ladies and gentlemen. So... The next show, Star comes on the radio and goes, now I hear this DJ that was looking for me or whatever. And Star and his imperialistic <laughs> way he does it and was like, did you find the wrong building? <laughs> we were here. Like, what happened? I thought you were coming down to get me. You're coming here to address me. We we didn't go anywhere. What happened to you? <laughs> we right here. So he's like, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now I'm talking to your wife. I'm going to talk to your girl. I'm going to talk to your slanted-eyed wife. That set off the chain reaction. Then he's talking about, I'm going to disrespect your seed. I'm going to go sleep with your wife and R. Kelly style your kid and all that stuff. And anybody who got information about his wife, let me know. I need to know that right now. Anybody got something on this slut bag, hit me up with the info. Anybody know where his kids go to school at? Let me know. Once he start doing that, 
Now you didn't you didn't took this to a whole new realm. Now it's in a whole new spectrum. So it was like, now what I did, DJ Envy, your homeboys now are gonna look at you and turn and say, hey man, you gonna let him disrespect your family like that? And your kid? Now you gotta go see him. So DJ Envy sitting at home. And his wife is mad. Everybody's upset. You know what Envy did? DJ Envy gonna go, man, get this. Envy's gonna get upset. And Envy sit up there and gonna say, I went out of town and my wife said she gonna handle it. They had sent a letter to try to get him fired from uh, Clear Channel, the radio station. So the wife, so according to Envy, he says, my wife's like, you go to Miami and get that money, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of this. You just go get your money, I'm gonna take care of this. But what happened was, I don't buy that for a minute. What happened was this wife got involved with his father-in-law. DJ Envy's father is a cop. A very powerful police officer with a lot of influence downtown. DJ Envy's father, his wife, they all got together and to get the, the FCC to come down on Clear Channel about this endangerment of children and all of this stuff. So naturally they want to make a big dis display we got to crack down on this abuse so clear channel one and star to play different things on the radio different types of music uh you know they wanted him to apologize and he wouldn't apologize so he had a lot of things that he was fighting the station over but when they wanted him to apologize on the air because they wanted to apologize. They said, and he's like, no, I'm going to do that. And they were like, you know, look, we're trying to, you got to work with us. Give us something. He's like, well, I ain't doing that. And he was like, well, we're going to have to fire you. So then he wouldn't leave. And it was almost like strategy. Like he wanted to get arrested. And they put the cuffs on him. He comes out and he's like, I'm the new Lenny Bruce. <laughs> Head in the sky, and he's smiling. He's like, Star is like one of the, he was made for like this stuff here. They did a reality show with him, or just film him. He's a walking reality show. You could never get bored being around Star. This is just can't happen. So he goes on Bill O'Reilly's show. Talks about the situation. All of this publicity he's getting. He is great for milking this. But here they are trying to basically get him off the air and all of these things. So now that they got him off and now DJ Envy brags that he took his job. Like, I took his check. His check comes to me. And now I got his job. And it was like, you don't have his job. <laughs> you got the breakfast club job. Star was getting paid about at least $11 million to $12 million in his contract that he had. He was the highest paid urban DJ in radio. Definitely for hip hop. For Clear Channel, nobody made more than Star. Star deal was epic. That people were probably shaking their heads like, how did he get this deal? Now, nowadays, you know, there's people getting way more money than that. I guess. You know, the numbers of the way radios change now with internet, 
it's it's hard to say who's getting what in their contracts. But this was before streaming and everything. This is when people actually was all listening to talk radio in the mornings. People used to go in late to work to try to listen to the last bit of the show before they have to go into the job. But DJ Envy is now at the station because Clear Channel is gone, so iHeartRadio is what it's called now. But it's the same place, but different show. But he's at the station now where Star used to be. The Star had to sue, but he got back all his money from Clear Channel and everything else. So it is what it is. That's how that situation ended. Um, they still don't talk to this day. You know, Envy think he's bigger than life now, and so be it. Star got his own show, Star in the Morning. So you can listen to Star. And DJ MV, of course, is on the Blackfist Club. I'm Carcino, and I'm on YouTube. <laughs> I'm out.